Okay, this is probably going to get a little choppy because I'm going to be moving back and forth from AutoCAD into Inventor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the process on the screen of what we're doing in um, AutoCAD, and then I will do that off the screen. So what we're doing, and it's probably not the best and only way to do it by any means at all in AutoCAD, is we've drafted up some things, and we've got, basically we've got, lines of symmetry for these parts here for actually each of these parts and this line part here on the right is also have a line of symmetry so we've only drafted half of these and we're leaving them in AutoCAD realistically we'd make them into blocks and I'll show that in another video but this ability to cut and paste off of AutoCAD for those of you who can kinda of get your way around AutoCAD and dropping in Vendor is not bad so what I'm doing here is I'm gonna generally as a rule I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna do a right click and copy or cut which is really bizarro because we don't do that too much but pretty useful uh, especially I'm not sure if the copy with base point works but we're gonna go ahead and copy just in a regular old Windows copy so that said that's what I'll be doing so I'm gonna go and bring over here inventor um, see if I can get it to fit to the same box in the screen and we're gonna go through the process now and it's not the only way and probably not even the preferred way the preferred way is going to be sketch blocks. I will point out those of you, Inventor has changed. In 11, it's much, I'm going to say, they're making these leaps because we're, they're chasing part of the market against SolidWorks and a few others. Um, SolidWorks is in cahoots, good, bad, or indifferent, I won't say, with Microsoft. Uh, Bill and Melinda Gates give away $5 billion to public health. The U.S. gives eight. So support their products as well. So I'm going to go here and go to the new and in this case I'm gonna add point out that inventor there are three at least three types of files more than that probably but there's a part file an IPT an assembly file an IAM and then a paper file which is an IDW and what's really cool in the end is when you bring these models into the paper and see all these different views you're good to go so I'm just gonna start with a part file hopefully it's in the same system and you get to this point where it says sketch Okay, that's easy enough done. And you're thinking a lot about 2D sketches. And so what you're going to be doing is you're going to bring in the kind of profile of what you just had into here and then do the kind of extrudes and the 3D work here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk for once. I'm going to just do it here. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to get right-click, copy, and now I'm going to move AutoCAD off to the right. And I'll explain what I'm doing in AutoCAD when I'm doing it. I come back to here, right-click, paste going to drop something there. It looks like I've got a kind of a origin there. I'll just drop this any old place and I'm going to hit finish sketch. That's kind of not what I wanted to do so I'm going to go back and double click into the sketch. I can take all this and hopefully do a mirror on it. A mirror on it if I wanted or I could basically have gone up and done the part uh, and on the mirror on the 3D part. But I'm going to go ahead, it's telling me what is the mirror line. The mirror line is that, and apply. I'm going to say done. Now I can say finish sketch, hit F6, and I'm going to push that through what turns out to be a parameter which is in fact 0.38, which is probably 0.375, so I'll try to do that here. So I'm going to do extrude, and what you'll see is I can start adding things, and I want that to be 0 0.375 inches, and I hit OK, and my part, that part is done. So I've kind of got this first piece done. Now I can start working on the next piece, and the next piece I guess would make the most sense would be the bottom. So I'm going to turn this thing over and I'm going to say create 2D sketch and I'm going to grab that bottom piece going back over to AutoCAD now going across my bottom object hitting right click copy coming over here going right click paste and I didn't do the right copy so I gotta hit cancel here All right, that's not what I want so I'm gonna do undo there go back to AutoCAD and realize that over here I'm gonna grab just the right object right click copy coming over here right click paste and I have this object and kind of zooming in and out the mouse works backwards 
I can take this now and I can grab across it and I can rotate it. You're not seeing the input here, but I'm going to rotate an angle of, I'm going to select the thing and I'm going to grab the center point, which is there, and rotating an angle of 90 degrees if I would. Apply. Done. Now I can take that, I'm guessing, and good, bad, or indifferent, I could mirror it again. So I'm hitting the mirror there, select the mirror line, apply. It's not giving me an immediate visual, and I don't even know. I guess I do need that near line. I'm going to hit done here. Now I can take all that, and I can move it from a, I'm grabbing a base point and taking it, I guess, I don't know that it will find that piece, and that will be then an issue as I start talking about putting this stuff together, that that piece there, uh, I guess it was right. This piece, I guess it was okay. So I'm going to just move that there, and now I'm going to say finish sketch. The reality is I'm going to go ahead and edit sketch. I don't need those, so I'm going to right-click, delete, right-click, delete, finish sketch. Now I have something that I can extrude. I want to go up or back. I want to go up in this case 0.31 and I have that second bit done. I'm moving the thing around. I'm sorry, moving the camera around when I do this, not the thing. And so real nice, you can get a not a, not a nice kind of twist. It's just like the AutoCAD interface just so you know. Um, you can kind of turn it around some more. So you get close there, and now you're kind of working on then now this next piece, and then once again we this next piece we have already something. It looks like this. See if I can bring it over to you. Looks like the middle one there. So I'm going to go now here once again, and create a 2D sketch. I give it the face on which the 2D sketch is to come. I went over to AutoCAD now here. I'm just escaping out, grabbing what I want. I'm going to. Grab that in AutoCAD, right click, and copy, and come over here, right click, and paste. It's getting pasted there. I can immediately or later come in here, do a mirror. I'm selecting the mirror line. It apply. It seems to do a reasonable job on that. Done. I grab all of it. I go to the move. I take the move from a base point there to a paste point there. And now finally I have an extrude once again of 0.31. So we're going to finish our sketch. Do your extrude of 0.31 and then you've got basically two directions to go. And I want to go the other direction here and here. I hit OK and we're done. What's left now in this piece is once again a fillet of 0.25 and so we have also here the fillet possibility it's going to give you an interface and the key thing to remember now these are all parametized which means they can then be changed later 0.25 inches doesn't like that 0.25 inches and now I can just grab then a cancel I'll try it again and I'm going to do a fillet of point Two five inches. Hit OK. Look around the other way. Same thing. It should remember the fillet as 0.25. Grab that. Hit apply. Hit OK. And we have the second piece done in Inventor. Now I'll continue here a little bit. I don't even know if this thing's still recording, but I'll end this right now because you have that piece. But I'll before I quit. I'm going to let you know that this is good and bad, but mostly good that it makes you put things where you know they're supposed to be. So right away, file save as, setting up your directory structures. I'm going to call this part four, or I know it is. I'm going to hit save here. And we have then basically done um, with the same set of skills in AutoCAD, very little addition, and you have a lot more power because now these things are parametized. You can do things like go to in this environment, Go to stress analysis, create a simulation. With that, you can fix maybe the, the edge there, fix that edge. You can apply a force. 
I'm going to apply a force location right at the top there and I'm going to give it a direction of 1,000 pound force which you gotta love grab that pulling in hit OK I'm gonna solve that analysis can't solve it until you give it a material giving a material is more than giving it basically just some color a lot more to it than that modulus of elasticity a Poisson ratio a yield stress an ultimate stress a th th uh, coefficient of thermal expansion as I hit here hit OK I now can simulate I'm going to run you'll see it's taking some time and producing in the end hopefully something not enough constraints so I'm gonna hit close here go back to fixed fix that constraint it looks like it's fixed I probably didn't hit OK simulate solve run not talking into the mic there you go so what you can do extremely quickly very well is kinda nutty not sketch up free out of the box nutty but pretty nutty nonetheless I recommend those of you with home machines download AutoCAD I mean Inventor 11 I think it is fundamentally not fundamentally different but pretty pretty reasonable I'll end up just trying to capture here I'm gonna animate here see what it looks like this is what it's gonna show you over time hit OK it's going to do some animation, etc. There's lots of stuff here. We'll look at it as we get into this in some of the classes. Thanks for listening.